3.20 a.m. Early start, me and the dog are trying to beat the uh, the heat and try and beat all the uh, rush on the mountain roads and get a ride in. Time update, 3.45, so got all dressed and everything. As you can see, I'm already sweating profusely, so I think today's gonna be a roaster. There they are. Just a solo outing for Dave today though. Jenny's back in the UK, seeing her family. I've got a little uh, sidekick though, not lonely. That's good. Doggo's locked and loaded. Got his goggles on. I've got uh, a new baffle in my exhaust, which is a treat. Uh, so my bike sounds like a scooter now. It's super quiet now, like ridiculous. <laughs> super quiet at this time in the morning. It's still pitch black, so I've been riding for like 50 minutes maybe. No, maybe not long. We're up in the mountains, just checking out the, the local vending machine situation as we're not in any rush because uh, there's no point doing the mountain pass in the pitch black. Uh, dog goes pretty feisty for uh, a drink, I think. But yeah, let's go check out the vending machines and see what the uh, an Italian petrol station vending machine has to offer. So yeah, one of my favorite uh, vending machine experiences is uh, in Japan. They're absolutely amazing, the vending machines. To be fair, this one's pretty good, look. AA batteries, air fresheners, napkins, plenty of different types of lagers down the bottom. Or just, you know, petrol, petrol station sold beer. Well, let's top up the caffeine, shall we? Coca Zero. 280. Passing by the lake, and the view is pretty spectacular. So, another time check. It's quarter past six. We're on the Crocodomini, which is Mountain Pass. It's uh, very, very endor like of here. <laughs> Oi! What is it? face with those goggles on. It's not that warm up here. It's like a little bit of a chill when you're riding. Let's go. Let's so check these big, uh, big mountain dogs out. They're <laughs> pretty scary. Very windy. These are absolutely huge. I didn't think they were this big. 
Doggo's got some kind of beef. I don't know what it is. Where is it? Where's your beef? You've rolled in poos. You've had a tree. What do you want? Where are you going? Not worried about him in here because uh, it's been very well cleaned up in here. I assume the Italian uh, government know that tourists and that come here, so it's really, really clean. Ominous hallway. Taxi! Come here, stay close. If not, you're off on the lead. The latrine. Obviously NATO didn't give you a toilet to sit on. Some sort of heating burners. Guess you need them for the winter a bit. Super cool place. Really enjoyed checking that out. I think the dog did too. He loves exploring. One of the least dangerous abandoned places I've explored. I mean, super cleaned out. Floors all clean. Like, obviously the the tourist board or the airsofters or whatever keep it really pristine. So, totally no danger here. Unlike some of the places I've visited in the former Soviet Union, which are uh, crazy. But there's something awesome in that craziness. I think, unfortunately, a bit of a sad thing is that uh, a lot of that creepiness and sort of dereliction gets cleaned up in Europe, so a bit sad, but what can you do? It is safe. I mean, no one wants to get really wrapped. Look at all these little uh, random legal tracks. They all go somewhere. They're all rideable. Little cafe. Cafe at the top for the skiers. So the ski run starts. So 2,088 meters Maneva ski. That means the dog has got a bit of a hill climb. Do we go right or do we go left? Think for the safety of my dog. I'm gonna go right. I'm old and saying go left. My dog is saying go right. I don't need to freak myself. 